Hello everybody, Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. I'm sure you know John 8, 12, if you've listened to me by now. Listen, this uh, is more so of a warning than a Bible study, but you should know. There is a group of people that own basically all the media. doesn't matter if you go to the... UK or the European Union or the United States, Canada, it don't matter. They own the media. They shall be hereafter referred to as the sin of Gog of Satan. Take a look at the second chapter of the book of Revelation in verse 9 and you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, the modern Bibles are, have been changed. Matter of fact, they're even starting to make changes to the King James Bible. I strongly recommend that you download a copy of the King James on your computers, possibly even print your own. Um, I like to go to the bookstores, used bookstores, and buy old copies from the 50s and 60s. You know, I've bought Bibles for $1, dollar, two, three dollars, you know. Put them away uh, with the, uh, the Noah Hyde laws that are coming into effect. They will effectively put Christianity as being a capital offense and it's punishable by death and method of execution beheading. Now, I don't know about in Europe, but I do know that in the United States, those laws are on the books. They were signed by Reagan, Bush, uh, all, basically every president. And, of course, Trump's doing his part, too. So, basically, Bibles are going to be illegal. Believing in Jesus is going to be illegal. But, uh, but let's get back to the warning. Now, there is a company called Zondervan. They are the largest printer of religious books in the English-speaking world. They are the exclusive publisher of the NIV Bible. The NIV Bible, uh, for at least one year that I know of, was the number one selling Bible in the United States. Now, overall being that the King James has had 400 years plus of sales, it is the overall number one bestseller. However, the NIV is the most recent bestseller. Now, the original NIV, you would have been hard-pressed to prove that sodomy is a sin. There was only one clear verse. Now, the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall everything be established. You don't create a doctrine on one verse. I mean, you just don't do that. It's not wise. That's why God's going to send his two witnesses to confront the beast and the false prophet. Because in the mouth of two or three witnesses, how shall everything be established? That's the way it goes. Now, the NIV and other Bibles, like the complete Jewish Bible, in Isaiah 14, chapter 14, they have this guy that fell from heaven. Uh, his name, they call him Lucifer which means basically L-U-C is a Latin prefix that has reference to light. Uh, L-U 
Have you ever heard of lumens? Illuminate. Uh, that has reference to light. And he's called an angel of light. So what the NIV does is they remove the name Lucifer and they insert the word morning star. Well, who is a morning star? Well, in Revelation 22, Jesus says that he is the morning star. So essentially... They remove Lucifer and insert Jesus as falling from heaven and go, being cast down to the pit of hell to be covered with worms. Isn't that wonderful? They remove Lucifer and insert Jesus going down to the pit of hell. Uh, but like I say, the NIV is not the only one that does it. The complete Jewish Bible also does this. And this is what these messy antics uh, that's the Bible that they recommend oh yeah Jesus going down to the pit of hell and a matter of fact they won't even call him Jesus they have to call him that Yeshu uh, thing so I don't believe Yeshua is Jesus I think it's going to be the name of the Antichrist but uh that's just my opinion, and until it happens, I it's just, you know, conjecture on my part. Now, the Zondervan that does this, the NIV, that takes Lucifer out and puts Jesus in, um, they're owned by a company called HarperCollins. That's their parent company. HarperCollins, that owns Zondervan, the largest printer of religious books in the English-speaking world, prints The Joy of Gay Sex, The Joy of Gay Sex, a how-to manual. So, you know, if you want uh, to learn how to enjoy The Joy of Gay Sex, well, you could buy their book. Me, I pass. Uh, they also print... Another type of Bible. Harper Collins prints another Bible. Isn't that wonderful? We love Bibles, right? Well, maybe not. This Bible is from the Church of Satan, and it's called the Satanic Bible by a guy named Anton LeVay. Uh, from what I understand, his real name was Levy. Uh, any of you watched? The movie Rosemary's Baby, it's an old, old movie, about, uh, from what I understand, Rosemary got pregnant with Satan, and she had a baby. Well, the guy that played the devil in that movie was the founder of the Church of Satan. Isn't it convenient that Hollywood just happens to, you know, cast him as Satan, the founder of the Church of Satan? So, here it is. Zondervan is owned by HarperCollins. The NIV turns Jesus into Satan. Has a hard time proving that uh, gay, you know, sodomy is even a sin. And oh, by the way, they, they delete the word sodomite and they insert the word temple prostitute. I, I'm, or shrine prostitute. I think it's shrine prostitute. Now, what does that mean? Is a shrine prostitute a male or a female? I don't know. And is it okay to do it at the shrine as long as you don't charge somebody? Or is it okay to charge somebody as long as you don't do it at the shrine? Uh, these are questions I'm kind of interested in. Well, not really, but... All right, so Harper Collins owns Zondervan. They print gay porn and satanic literature. And they own the largest so-called Christian publisher in the English-speaking world. Matter of fact, people were going to HarperCollins' website and doing searches for Bibles. And then they were shocked that uh, the satanic Bible came up. <laughs> you know, here it is. You're looking to buy a Bible from 
Harper Collins that owns Zondervan, you know, you're, you're looking for an NIV or a King James, and then all of a sudden you look, Satanic Bible pops up. So what did Harper Collins do to prevent this from warning the sheep? Um, they created Harper Collins Christian Publishing, where the Satanic Bible will not show up in the search when you're looking for Bibles. So if you go to Bibles, they instantly kick you over to the HarperCollins Christian so-called publishing. Now, who is HarperCollins' parent company? Well, they're owned in turn by a company called the News Corporation. Their family that owns them is the Rupert Murdoch, his family, and uh, you know them as fake news. I mean, I'm sorry, Fox News. Yeah. So basically, Fox owns Harper, that owns Zondervan, that prints the NIV. And from what I understand, they're changing the King James. So, you know, just, just letting you know. I suggest you put some, uh, put some Bibles away. Go to the used bookstore, uh, get the old versions if you can, and, uh, you know. But you know what? There's people argue and tell you that, well, you know, Lucifer is a, it's a Latin word, and we don't speak Latin. We're, we speak English, so Lucifer doesn't belong in the Bible. Well, I tell you what, there are Satanists that call themselves Luciferians, they know who Lucifer is, but these wolves in sheep's clothing, they are try to use their arguments to make you not understand who Lucifer is. But I'll tell you what, when I was in college, I had a professor that told me about 20% of the English language is derived from Latin. There's a lot of Latin words in the United States. Uh, you know, in the English language. So, you know, there's, I mean, come on, really. Let's take a look at some uh, Latin sayings. Ad nauseum, what does that mean? To the point of sickness, bonafide, in good faith, carp diem, seize the day, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware, cum laude, with honor, De facto, in fact, e pluribus unum on the buy on on the money, right? Out of many one, etc., and the rest of such things. I mean, these are common Latin phrases. So, I mean, come on, people. You know, oh well, Lucifer doesn't belong in the Bible. Uh, impromptu, quid pro quo, per se. Uh, ad hoc, ergo, you know, those are uh, ultra, those are all Latin words, you know, uh, you know, pro, prorated, that comes from Latin, you know, it's just unbelievable, these people will do anything, and, and you know, but these same people that will tell you that Lucifer doesn't belong in the Bible have no problem taking a name for Jesus and having him falling from heaven and going into the pit of hell in Isaiah 14. So who do they serve? They serve their father, Lucifer, the devil. And there's this guy called James White, Dr. James White. Ooh, he went to Bible college two more years than I did. Probably uh, one of the one of the um, uh, the Church of Satan Bible Cemetery, but uh, yeah, I only have a master's degree. You know, he's got a doctorate's degree, so he went college uh, Bible Cemetery two more years than I did. Ooh, so what can I tell you? Yeah, so this is the deception, people. This is the deception. So. All right, well, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and God the Son, the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.